Hi there, Tracy from Tracy Rose TV. And today I'm gonna to tell you the five steps to having a positive hospital birth. So I've got my notes on my iPad here. And step number one is first of all, getting educated about natural birth. I'm not talking about just going to the standard hospital classes because most of them will teach you how to have a medicalized birth in the system. And this is not to um, bag hospitals or anything like that because there are some hospitals which are very, very pro-natural. In fact, the hospital that I've been to twice to have both my kids um, is very, very pro-natural. But you've got to really have a look at your hospitals. Most will give you, you know, here's your selection of drugs and also, you know, kind of freak you out and show you their reality of what is standard um, for birthing in their hospital. But see, we don't want to have a standard hospital birth. We want to have a positive hospital birth. So that means going to a positive um, birthing class such as gentle birth or hypnobirthing or hypnobabies or calm birth or something like that where you learn specifically how to have a positive, calm, gentle, natural birth. Step number two is to practice your breathing exercises and all the things that you've learned and your relaxation and things like that that you've been learning in your positive um, birthing class because really you want it to become second nature on the day. So when you feel those um, surges or rushes, or is, which is what we call contractions, when you feel those first surges and those tingling and those sensations, you want your, um, I guess, your immediate reaction to be calm, to be go into your breathing relaxations to go into your visualization and stuff like that. Step number three is about having positive expectations. Now, if you expect that you're going to have the most traumatic, um, horrible, medicalized birth, then guess what you're going to attract? Unfortunately, law of attraction does come into play. So if you fill your mind and your personal space with um, positive stories, positive videos, positive and supportive people that are going to enable you to have a positive birth experience in the hospital, then you're much likely, much more likely to actually have one. Which brings me to number four, having supportive people around you. So making sure that your birth partner or your birth support people are supportive of you actually having a positive natural birth in the hospital. Um, if you feel they're not that supportive, then perhaps consider changing your birth partner or changing your support or maybe hiring a doula or making sure that your birth partner has read some of the books that you have on natural birthing or perhaps you've taken them to your natural birthing class as well. I always recommend that because then those birth partners actually know what they can do during your birth and at exactly what times you kind of need those need those things and also they need to know when to sit back and do nothing and tip number five is really important it's about having a flexible attitude does your birth need to be absolutely perfect for you to have a positive experience no but if you have a flexible attitude to go with your positive thinking and, and enabling your positive birth, no matter what happens, you're more likely to have a positive experience no matter how the situation turns out. An example of this is my first birth was like this idyllic, beautiful, calm, gentle water birth. And um, I kind of expected to have that amazing water birth at the same hospital, all kind of the same again. And um, what happened was there's a bit of a different story. Their birth happened really, really fast. I couldn't stand to be in the water. It got, made me really agitated. And we weren't at the hospital and we were getting worried about, oh my gosh, is the baby going to be birthed at home? Which is fine if you want a home birth, but when it's an unexpected home birth, that's not kind of the scenario that you want to have. And it just wasn't like this idyllic, beautiful, calm, slow, gentle birth as I had envisioned. And the thing is, I could have taken that and started to really freak out and the support wasn't as exactly as I wanted it. And I could have really freaked myself out 
therefore changing the hormones in my body, making myself get into more pain and possibly putting myself and my baby in danger. But I had a flexible attitude. I knew what I had to do to keep myself nice and calm, to keep myself super comfortable and just do what needed to be done. So that flexible attitude enabled me to still have an amazing and positive birth. Like that birth was so beautiful, but it was really different to the first one that I had imagined. So there's your five steps. Okay, we've got getting educated about natural birth. Practicing your breathing and relaxation so it becomes um, sort of subconscious for you. Uh, having positive expectations, remember the law of attraction. Having great support and having a flexible attitude. I'm wishing you all the best. I'm sending you lots of positive birthing vibes and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.